something magical just happened. I had a couple hours to get out and fish and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go throw some swim baits. Well, what if I told you guys that I've caught three bass that weigh over 30 pounds today, the last hour and a half on this bait. Giant that just came out of it. Yeah, I got her. Look at that one. He was bigger than 10. Look how fat that fish is. Well, you guys can see. Well, actually, I know a lot of you are probably commenting down below that it's all, it's all, they gotta be a private lake or you didn't catch them legally. You must've snagged them because live scope's cheating. Well, that's fine. I'm used to seeing the hateful comments and you guys are the outspoken minority, but in reality, this is a highly pressured 100% public lake where there's tournaments every single week, all year long during the toughest time of the year to get some big bites. Here, you guys wanna see one I just got? Check this guy out. That's a daggum stud right here, and you're about to see one of the craziest days of big bait fishing of my life. Go ahead and get her back in right now. There she goes. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I caught them in this video. You don't wanna miss this one. I suppose we'll need the net, but we're gonna start off fishing some brush miles, I think, today, guys. It's definitely been a lot of good fishing brush lately. So we got a brush pile up there, but we definitely got some fish kind of working this little drop off right here. So before we can get up to the brush, I'm gonna drag this worm. This is a six cents divine worm and blood apple. And yeah, there's actually some good ones there too. Hoping they're biting today. Like I said, I've never fished this lake this time of year. So it's gonna be interesting to see what they're set up like. Oh my god, they're freaking. Oh. Are you f***ing me? Just had like three seven pounders come out of this pile and eat it off the surface. They all missed it and none of them chased after that. What the hell? No, and now I'm snagged. <sighs> How does that happen? They freaking blew my glide out of the water. Sucks. I'm gonna go on snag it go around come back to it. That was insane. I've never seen them do that in a brush pile before A lot of these brush piles in this lake Usually got like two or three feet of water above them But since the water's so low they pretty much top out right now So it's hard to fish anything over the top of them. But as you guys just saw uh, you, Maybe you didn't see it. That was insane like at least three giants came out of that pile before I, pretty much before I even got the bait to the pile and tried to just blow the entire bait out of the water in overcast conditions right now. It was sunny when we launched, but overcast here at the second spot. Really seems like a, a day that they might come up and eat some like this big old prototype bait that we're releasing soon. Big old kitty cat walk. Let me show you what we got going on here. So we got a brush pile out there. And right up there is exactly what you want to see. Those are fish in a feeding mood up above the brush pile. They're just sitting there with their damn mouths open. And I got my transducer cheated a little bit. So the surface is actually runs like that a little bit. So those guys aren't actually four feet below the surface. They're more like a foot. Let's see if they'll eat this big top water before we throw a big swim bait over it. Looks like there's a little bit more gap. between the surface and the, this brush pile. So it'll fish a swim bait over the top better. Of course, they didn't even flinch because fishing. <laughs> All right, let's throw a glide over the top and see what they do with that. Got the old draw rigged up, or did a rock. Some bitches are back in stock. Come get it. Got him on the draw. Yes, he's trying to be sneaky and get away. I ain't letting him do it. Big old frame. Hell yeah. Oh, oh God. He'll try to get caught on the top water as well. Look at that. Threw the top water over it. 
Didn't even get a follower. Trode to draw. Got this boy. Hell yeah, we're on the freaking board. Just had to pick up old Mr. Draw. Available at six cents. Finally, they were sold out forever. That's a good one. Skinny. I don't like that, but there's much bigger ones in there. This guy just got to it first. Let's see if we can get a big. Probably three and a half pound fish still. 20, 21 inches. God dang, I'm just glad he did it. And I'm glad that I didn't do with this like I did with the damn provoked the other day. Put it in my damn finger. <laughs> it's got some nasty ass hooks on it. Yeah, this draw is absolutely perfect for this scenario. I've got it weighted right now, so it suspends. So there's been a lot of confusion about this bait, and I've told you guys over and over, so you guys probably already know, but we got a lot of new MFers since I released this bait. So let me tell you, out of the package, this draw will very slowly float. That's on purpose. That wasn't something that happened that went wrong at the, the factory or something. But the reason for that is you can fish it more different ways by simply adding some lead wire or some stick-on weights or leaving it plain. So out of the package, it slow floats, and when you pull it and pull it through the glides, it'll get down three, maybe even four feet on a long cast. If you stop it, it'll slow rise. So I like those situations for stuff like this, really, where you're trying to keep it up above pieces of cover, whether that be a brush pile like we are now, a grass line, uh, a lay down. If you're going down the bank, you can slowly work it over. If you're coming up to it really slow, you're going to snag it. Boom. Let it rise up a little bit. Keep on working it through its glides. Now I've got it weighted right now. So it will like almost perfectly suspend. And that's good because a lot of these fish get a lot of pressure by now in these brush piles. They're not dumb. And so there's a ton of fish right here though. And so you can really hold it there for them. Let them get a look at that big natural bait that they don't see many baits as sexual as this one throughout their day. Oh my, that is a giant that just came out of it. And I got her. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, that might be a 10. That might be a 10. That might be a 10 on the drop. Oh, yeah. Look at that one. Yes. Oh, don't get a hook in me, big girl. Oh, my goodness. That was so sick watching them big fish come out of that pile and eat that. Look at that thing. Yes. Look how fat it is. Not the time of year for them to be, let me get this lined up. Not the time of year for them to be built like that. She is a fat freaking tank on the draw. Oh my goodness, hell yes. She's gonna be close to 10. Look how fat that thing is. Wow, I can't believe that fish closed like it did. How cool is that in the middle of talking about how to work the bait, have one come up and lick it like that on the Millican rod and everything. Let's get a weight on her. Get her on the scale here. See what she pulls. Oh, okay. I was right. She was bigger than 10. She's actually 11, 08, 11, 06, 11, 06. Are you kidding me? On the freaking draw? Yes. I'm so freaking jacked right now. That's the first double digit I've ever caught on this bait. And why that's special to me is, as you guys know, I designed this bait. I helped design this bait with Casey from Six Cents for years. We went through so many prototypes to get this thing right. I've caught so many four to eight pound bass, or nine pound, I guess. I did catch one that was high eights on this bait. Oh, big one. Oh my God. I got it. Oh, 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 my God, dude. Oh, I just haven't caught a 10 pounder on it yet. Obviously that's not saying anything against this bait. You guys see me catch giant fish on it all the time, but most people don't catch a 10 pounder in their lives, obviously. Most people that fish in Texas their whole lives never catch a 10 pounder. It was just bound to eventually happen. I am so pumped. I just caught it on the draw and it's available for you guys. It was out of stock forever. We finally got these back in. I think this color is called Ghost Glide. It's my favorite color probably for all around fishing. 
We have some really good bluegill colors though too for a lot of guys in the north. Now before I make another cast of that brush pile that obviously has some donks in it, I'm gonna let it rest for just a second, but I was in the middle of telling you guys as I caught that fish, why I picked this bait up and how customizable it is by adding some different types of weight. You can put weight on any bait, but a lot of baits run like crap. A lot of these glide baits just don't run properly. That's why you see me fishing different baits at different water columns, different profiles, because you can't put weight on them like you can with this draw and still maintain that really good wide action. Just to answer a question I get probably more than any question out there. You know, I, I started off with the five, six inch glide baits. I'm catching some fish on them, but they're not drawing a ton of fish. I want to step up to the giant baits, the eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 plus inch baits, but I don't know where to start and I don't want to go break the bank and all these baits I'm hearing about that are super high dollar baits that work really well are impossible to get. What do you think? And I always recommend this bait, this six cents draw to people because not only is it available all the time, but you can really do so many different things with it at different water column depths. This thing is a winner. And as we speak right now, it is in stock. I can't guarantee it will be by the time the video drops, but I'll link it below. Uh, it's a $75 bait, so it's not a two, three, four hundred dollar bait. I know it's extremely expensive for a lot of people and I get that. My phone's blowing up because I just sent this picture to my friends that fish, but MF10 discount code gets it down to like 66, 67 dollars. I promise you, you will not find a nine inch glide bait that has as much draw power. You can do as many different things with and just flat out catches as many fish as this guy right here. <sighs> Let's go try to get another one. Whew. Trying to catch my damn breath out here. <laughs> There's another one actually at the front of this freaking pile that also looks giant. Hopefully he is as angry as the one that we just caught. Freak show, don't you freaking jump, you little joker. Oh, <sighs> yeah, you can jump now, girl. You can jump now, girl. Oh my god, that's a bigger frame than the last one. Look how long it is. Oh my goodness. Well, you guys didn't see that apparently because my damn camera was off, but you saw it on the back camera. That is a beautiful dang sight. That's such a long fish longer than the the big one that we caught already let's see what she looks like on the board yeah that's a freak also on the draw again <laughs> incredible her freaking head came up and i got really excited oh my goodness well sorry you guys didn't get a very good view of that yeah you probably missed most of it ah maybe not it's a pretty wide angle let's see what this one let's see what this one pulls for us I think it's a bigger frame fish, but eight, eight, six, eight, seven. Oh, her tail was touching. Eight seventy-ish. Another giant. She been caught before. She got a big old coal tag hole. Another giant on the draw. Hell yeah! Well, high eight, twenty-five inch plus brush pile fish freaking fun get her back in why don't you go get filled out like your buds and uh be a double digit this winter and i'll see you again okay all right great go on get out of here go on get go on get get out of here all right see you well this is uh this is fun, I like this. Hopefully you guys saw any of that that went on. I think you did though. The angle was still screwed up because I was taking a picture with my <laughs> GoPro on the dash here, but how's that, is that better? Once again, over the top of the brush pile, there's a bunch more brush to fish too, so let's keep working on it. We got a, what was that, a four pounder, an 11 pounder, and a eight, seven, so we got a, I don't know how big a limit. We'll add it later. I only got a couple hours to fish today, so we need to keep at them. Okay, new brush pile. Let's see if they are as hot in this one as they've been in the others. Once again, there's some giants around it. Those might be crappie up there, but that one right there, 
I know it's probably hard to tell if it's uh, a fish or not, but that is a fish. I've seen him move. It's another one of those at least nine pounders, probably a 10 though. They are really loaded up in these brush piles today. Bunch of crappie on this, so I got an idea. And I'm just following it on this pile. Got a special little bait for it. Since I'm seeing crappie swim around, let's give them the old provoke with the crappie crank wrap. Crappy, crappie, crappies. Starting to say stupid words, getting excited. That's how you guys know that I've caught some fish that are big. I get excited. Sorry about it. No, I'm not. I'm not sorry. All right. I'm stop saying stupid stuff and see if they'll eat this beautiful boy. Yeah, bad. The world. Freaking guy knocked slack in it and fouled my bait. Are you kidding me? All right, they will eat the crappie. <laughs> it's crazy how much different you fish this bait this time of year well i'll say this water condition because it's 67 in a lot of places in the country like i was saying don't have 67 degree water but it's crazy how much different they want it than say obviously the winter twitch twitch pause forever this it's like rip it as fast as you can to get their attention and hold on and if you don't freaking get them when they bite down on it they might do a lap around it and freaking blow your bait out by wrapping it like that. Wrap the line around the hook, that is. Man, fishing's weird, MFers. I don't know if it's bite windows or it's just, it's fishing, like we've been talking about, where you pull up to a brush pile and there's five of them trying to blow out of the water. And then you go 100 yards to a new brush pile and it's like, eh, they'll chase, whatever, but they won't commit to it. And then you pull up to one 200 yards or a quarter mile away and there's fish there and they won't even chase. You gotta throw a jerk bait for them to chase or, or bite or whatever. I guess I can't tell you guys enough that you need to have multiple baits on your deck to try at each spot because the personality of these fish is so much different. It's something that you would never have any freaking idea of if you uh, didn't have live scope, which is a, a great learning tool. And I know people hate live scope and they wanna tell everyone how easy it is. It's cheating. If you get live scope, you automatically catch them, blah, blah, blah. I don't care what your opinion is of it. I'm gonna continue to use it. And the main reason that I love it is because I've always been a type of person that wants to learn every time on the water. I literally learn from these fish's behavior and throwing different baits at them in different spots. I probably learn more in a single trip than I would in two months fishing the lake every single day without live scope. That's really been the biggest thing for me. But um, we got more places to hit, plus we're gonna cycle back through some of those same hot piles. It definitely seems like the fish wanna be in those shallower piles that kind of top out right below the surface of the water. So we're gonna go try to find some more of those and fish some of the same ones we did before. This might be basic common knowledge for a lot of you guys that tournament fish or fish seriously, but it's very important to leave a spot alone for sometimes an hour, sometimes a day, sometimes just a couple minutes to let those fish get back related to that piece of cover. So that's kind of what we've done the last hour or two um, on those really good piles that had a lot of different fish in them. And now it's time to go back through there and see if those some bitches are willing to eat. Let's go. That one freaking slacked it. That one slacked it. I told you I was gonna get a small one. I told you guys. Is that a spotted bass? No wonder they're being weird. That's the biggest spotted bass I've caught in a long time. That's probably my biggest Texas spotted bass. Not that he's big, but provoke crappy. That's cool. Probably a two and a quarter pound spotted bass. Deal. Oh, that's a giant on the draw. Oh my goodness. Look at this fish. Oh my, that might be another 10. Oh. 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 Look how fat that one is. Look how fat that fish is. Oh my goodness. I was about to give up on this pile. I'm so glad I didn't. 
freaking hook got her. Look at the gut. She's got a freaking tail down her throat too. We're about to see what that is, if we can even tell at this point. God dang, look how fat that fish is. She's pooping everywhere. <laughs> Might have been a damn 10 pounder. We better get her on the scale before she poops again. Oh, does she weigh? oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Another one. Two double digits on the draw on the same day. Freaking kidding me. See if we can get that tail out, see what she's been eating on down there in that pile. It's either gonna be a shad or a crappie. I guess it could be a bluegill too. But... Oh man. Yeah, we're not gonna take that out, but you guys can see that's a big old shad. I'm almost worried about the obesity level of this fish right here. Another 10. Two dubs in one day on the six cents draw glide bait. This fish is just pissed off. Go on, get. Go on, get. Go eat some more. Once again, I find myself shaking a little bit after that catch. Incredible. Another one on the draw swim bait. That's absolutely the deal today and um, the deal in a lot of situations. Let's learn something really quick though about that catch right there. Um, not only was it a great catch and super fun to catch one on a big bait like that, but when you look in the gullet of fish and see something like that, you can learn some stuff. Um, I generally have the idea in my head that when you get these shallow fish that are in brush piles, especially since they're loaded with crappie and bluegill, you can see them on the live scope and on your 2D and on your down scan, that those fish are sitting around being lazy, eating crappie and bluegill that are in the brush piles, but not that one. So what that means is there are giant gizzard shad, not the, not the threadfin shad that are out in the main basin rolling around in big bait balls right now, but there's giant gizzard shad up shallow, and that's what these big bass are feeding on. And if you're going to have a giant gizzard shad as the main forage, I'd say that thing looks uh, a little bit like it. It's actually about the exact same size as the one that was down at school. We've got a couple more minutes, but uh, we're working on a hell of a bag. Let's go hit one more spot. Woo! What a crazy, amazing time on the water. Not only was it super fun and incredibly rewarding and memorable based on the fish I caught, but it was extra special because I caught them on that draw glide bait that I helped design and spent so much time on. Now I'll link to the top of the description. Um, like I told you guys in the video, it's back in stock now. It was out of stock for nine, 10 months, I think. We finally got all the colors back in stock that probably won't last long. We don't stock a bunch of them. Um, but I also said that it's expensive. It's 75 bucks. I understand why a lot of you guys don't want to spend that much on a bait. I get it. It's out of people's price range. It was out of my price range for a very long time as well. Um, but for those of you guys that are very familiar with the swim bait industry and really how valuable some of those baits are and, and how well they can catch giant fish, as I just did in this video, um, you'll know that $75 isn't crazy for a nine inch bait um, and a lot of great colors. But for those of you guys on the fence about it, like I said, it's linked to the top of the description. You're very lucky if you're watching this right now as the video came out, uh, which is Tuesday, November 29th, because until midnight tonight, Six Sense is running the Black Friday sale still, just tonight, and it's gonna be the cheapest you can get a draw um, probably until next year at Black Friday, to be honest. Uh, I think $56 when you put it, when you put that draw in your cart and use promo code BF25, I believe they are 56 bucks or so. So that's far and away the cheapest to get it all year long. Um, I'd appreciate if you did that. It helps out the channel, helps out me. And um, it's a great bait, obviously. It catches great fish. I strongly encourage you to pick it up. Like I said, I get the question all the time, what glide bait would be a good one to start with? This one is perfect. I'll put the exact rod and reel combination I was using in this video right down below. Um, that works in so many different conditions. Like I said, get yourself some lead wire, like some, I, I like 0 .035 millimeter lead wire. I think that's the, the, uh, the best size for all around for all different types of baits that's not too thin that you have to wrap a ton around and not too thick that you have to, I don't know, it affects the bait's action too much with just a little tiny bit, but 0 .035 I believe is what I'm rolling with 95% of the time. Uh, you can get on Amazon if you wanna add some lead wire to the baits or they have stick-on stickers, stuff like that too. I'm, we're kinda working on some products like that that's gonna be uh, coming in the future with six cents to customize your baits. But Yep, it's linked down below. Pick one up, supports the channel, supports me, everything we're trying to do, and um, on to the next video, which, by the way, the next video is from the next day at this fishery. And a lot of you probably aren't gonna believe me when I tell you this, but the next day, the bite was totally different, yet 
I had a substantially better day fishing. Yes, I am not kidding you. I actually used what I learned with that big gizzard shad and I went and found them and I found what was eating them and shit got sideways real quick with substantially more giant ones. You don't want to miss it. Hit the subscribe button. I'll put that right down below as well. And that video will probably be out on Thursday. So be looking for that one. Hit the notification bell, the little dinger next to the subscribe button as well. So it notifies you of another great giant big bait catching video. And uh, I'll catch you guys soon. I'm out of here. Peace.